I'm Sampriti Bhattacharya, and I'm the founder and CEO of Navier. Essentially, an electric hydrofoil boat is more than 10 times efficient than a traditional gas boat. And that's really because of two factors. With hydrofoil, you're no longer pushing the water, so you're much more energy efficient. And then, you know, as with traditional EV, uh, that brings another 30 to 40 percent uh, more in terms of efficiency. So you end up with a boat that's like cost function cheaper to operate than a traditional gas boat. If you are in the bay, especially in San Francisco Bay, which just can be super choppy, like you're getting slammed against the waves when you're going on a traditional gas boat. And especially if you have seasickness, you're probably not going on the bay, like again. In an electric hydrofoil boat, you're riding smoothly above the water. It's just, you know, it has wings under the water. So you, at a certain speed, you take off and you're like up to four feet above the water. So you don't feel any seasickness and it's quiet. Like you can actually have a conversation on a 30 feet boat and it's a really a very pleasant ride. People used to travel on the water and at the turn of the century automobiles became a cheaper efficient alternative and now when you look at coastal cities the same coastal cities are now congested and we are limited to bridges and tunnel so if you could move on the water at the cost speed and convenience as landborne options then waterways are no longer an obstacle but another highway. In the recreational boat market with electrification, you know, there is a huge opportunity. You are like, you know, opening up a whole new kind of boating experience. But more than that, I think it fundamentally changes how we see our waterways because suddenly you open up a whole new mode of transportation, scalable waterbound transportation for people, for goods that was, you know, never possible before. And that's really exciting. Hydrofoils are great for many environments. You know, you have to be careful where there are hazards in the water. And there is a lot of work we are doing in terms of like enabling a superior ride quality, but also integrating autonomy, advanced autopilot features, working on collision detections to enable this to scale in all kinds of waterways. We have seen uh, in the recent times the evolution in space industry, in automotive, and I think that maritime has a huge potential. At Navier, our mission is really to build America's next generation maritime company. And what that means is building marine vessels that are not just a little bit better, but a step function better and are drastically lower in operational cost and be able to produce that in scale that can really open up opportunities in the maritime market that was you know conventionally not possible people who built personal computer transistors things that fundamentally change how we interact with the world is something that really had a profound impact on me that people themselves are building that. Success means various things to various people, right? And for me, it would be if I, at the end of my life, and I can look back and see that I've lived a life worth living. And to me, that would be, did I really fulfill the purpose? Did I deliver on the mission? Or at least I gave it all. The ideal success would be that, you know, we really have changed the world in the way that we have set out to. And if, you know, that happens, then I think uh, that would be meaningful for us, for myself.